Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today in this video, we will be talking about reciprocity theorem. So what is reciprocity theorem? Let's get into it. So let us assume two dipole antennas like this. So here we have two dipole antennas. So let us assume that a particular EMF is applied to this particular antenna. So when a particular EMF is applied to the terminals of this antenna, then a corresponding current value will be obtained at the terminals of this antenna. So now what does reciprocity theorem state? Reciprocity theorem states that when this EMF, when this same EMF is applied to this terminal, then the same value of current will be obtained at this terminal, as simple as that. So, if the value of this EMF is E, and if the value of this current is I, then if this EMF E is applied to this terminal, then the same value of current I will be obtained at this terminal terminal as simple as that that is what the reciprocity theorem states so what reciprocity theorem states is that when a particular emf is applied to the terminals of a particular antenna a then a particular current is obtained at another terminals of another antenna antenna b then if the same emf is applied to the terminals of antenna b then the same value of current will be obtained at the terminals of antenna a that is what reciprocity theorem states. That is, reciprocity theorem states that if an EMF is applied to the terminals of an antenna A and a particular current is measured at the terminals of an ant another antenna B, then the same current will be obtained at the terminals of antenna A if the same EMF is applied to the terminals of antenna B. So, now let's get into the proof of reciprocity theorem. So, let us consider this as a particular antenna setup. Let these be the terminals of antenna A and let these be the terminals of antenna B. So, let this be the impedance of antenna A and let this be the impedance of antenna B. And let this be the impedance of the medium between the two antennas. So, the first case is when we apply an EMF at the terminals of antenna A and a particular current is measured at the terminals of antenna B. So, let us consider the first case now. So, in this case, an EMF is applied at the terminals of antenna A where a particular current is measured at the terminals of antenna B. Then, what is the effective impedance? The effective impedance is Ez2 parallel to Ez3, which is in series to Ez1. So, Z effective is equal to Ez2 parallel to Ez3 plus Ez1, which equals Ez2 Ez3 divided by Ez2 plus Ez3 plus Z1, which equates to this Z2 Z3 plus Z1 Z2 plus Z3 Z1, the whole divided by Ez2 plus Ez3. So that is the effective impedance when the EMF is applied at the terminal A and a particular current is obtained at terminal B. So now let this current be I1 and let this current be I2. Then the value of I1 is obtained as I1 is equal to EMF divided by the effective impedance. Then what is the value of I2? I2 is nothing but I1 into Ez3 divided by Ez2 plus Ez3. That is I2 is equal to I1 into Ez3 divided by Ez2 plus Ez3. Which finally equates to E into Ez3 divided by Ez1 Ez2 plus Ez2 Ez3 plus Ez3 Ez1. So this is the value of the current that is obtained at the terminals of antenna B. So now let us assume the second case when the same EMF is applied at the terminals of antenna B and a particular current which is measured at the terminals of antenna A. In this case, let us assume the current here to be I2 dash and let us assume the current here to be I1 dash. So, what is the effective impedance here? The effective impedance is Z1 parallel to Z3, which is in series to Z2. That is, Z effective is equal to Z1 parallel to Z3, the whole in series 
with Z2, which equates to Z1, Z2 plus Z2, Z3 plus Z3, Z1, the whole divided by Z1 plus Z3. So then what is I2 dash? I2 dash is given as EMF divided by the entire effective impedance. So I2 dash is equal to E divided by Z effective. So then what is I1 dash? I1 dash is given as I2 dash into Z3 divided by Z1 plus Z3. That is I1 dash is equal to I2 dash into Z3 divided by Z1 plus Z3 which equates to E into Z3 divided by Z1, Z2 plus Z2, Z3 plus Z3, Z1 which is the same value of the current that we had obtained in the previous case. Hence, we have proved reciprocity theorem which says that when a particular EMF is applied at the terminals of one antenna and when the current is obtained at the terminals of another antenna then if the same EMF is applied to the terminals of the other antenna then the same value of current can be measured at the terminals of the other antenna. So this therefore sums up reciprocity theorem. Thank you.